Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with another ClickFunnels quick tip. And today we're going to take a look at the funnel builder page. It's the first page you're going to come into when you're editing any of your funnels or any pages or even uh, basically the same layout if you are uh, building courses as well. But uh, in the uh, funnel builder page itself, this is where you're going to put in all of the different funnel steps, your split tests, conditional stuff, things like that. Workflows are going to uh, start in here and a lot of other things, but we're just gonna take a quick tour around real quick, and we'll come back over the next, um, who knows how many videos, and talk about what else is on this page. One of the things up here at the top is, let me click in the page here so this actually works. We're gonna go here. You can come up here and you can click on this URL to copy it, or you can click this little box here with an arrow in it and go to that actual page. Now, if you do that, what's going to happen is you are going to go to what is the first node within this funnel, which would be this this little dot right here. Well, there's nothing there because you have below this here a split test and you would split out 50-50 to these two pages so you can test those pages in a split test right there. If you have any help, you can click on this button right here. You get the resource center down here, uh, guided tours, knowledge base, accessibility, marketing.ai, contact us. You got all the cool stuff down here to get a hold of everybody. It says right here we are in test mode right now because I don't have this attached to any, I don't think I even have any products in here or anything, but I certainly um, am not running any money through here at this time. This is just purely a test funnel that I play around with. Over here, we have our analytics. We can click on that and we can turn on the analytics on the page and let's move myself over here. And again, this is just a test funnel. Otherwise, it would have all the different uh, analytics that are showing right on here that you can uh, look at and test, but it does not move around on the page. It does not appear. You can turn that. You just toggle it on and off with this little button right here. You got notifications. You can click on that and see any notifications that you have. And then you can go into your settings as well. And this tells you the name of the funnel, the domain that you're using. If you want to change the domain on that, you just come in here and you click on it. You scroll down. You pick the domain you want. And then this here is the path for that particular thing. As you see up here, it said test at the top. That's why it's saying test right here because, again, this is the main uh, main link to be able to get into the very top of the funnel itself. Uh, we have the style guide down here, so you can use different style guides in in this funnel right here. And then uh, enable uh, billing payment method types, PayPal or credit card. You can turn them both on if you want. They just recently added the ability to use PayPal. And this is, what is this, November of 2023. After Funnel Hacking Live this year, they added that ability. And then down here you can generate a share funnel link if you want you just simply click on it and we will click on it again and you will then have a share funnel generated and then of course when you're done you can click on update your funnel and whatnot but I don't want to update any of that and it will continue it takes a couple of seconds maybe 30 seconds before the link is available to be able to share it and then up here in the corner we have three dots and again you can do this here to turn that on to toggle the analytics on over here behind me. Uh, down in the left-hand corner over here, I shot a video earlier, and I was calling this preview uh, window or something. They actually call it their mini-map down there, and not to be confused with mini-me, apparently. And then you got your page previews, which is the image in the background here. So we can click on that, turn that on and off right there. The only other thing on the page, other than when we're building in the middle here, is there's a little icon over here. You can open that up you can then choose to create a page or you can have a workflow a conditional split path or a split test but also if you come back over here let me close that you gotta click the X uh, if you come back here into the page and you click on any one of the nodes, and that's what these little gray things are known as. These are nodes. Um, if you click on any of those, it will open up that sidebar, and then you can say, okay, let's just say we want to add a page, and then we go through that process, but more on that at some other time. So that's all I have for you today for the Funnel Builder page inside of ClickFunnels 2.0. If you have any questions, just let me know.